Hey guys, this is Luke Mick here, and this is my review for Battle of the Year. So guys, I just want to st first start off by saying that I'm really sorry that I haven't been uploading videos lately. I've just been incredibly busy, and I haven't had time to sit down and actually film and edit any videos. Um, I have been seeing all the movies, so I'm going to have a whole bunch of videos, hopefully, um, coming out of the assemb assembly line this weekend. Um, I should have at least six or seven uploaded by the end of the weekend. So just be prepared for those. I have reviews, half price bargains and half price books, pawn shop pickups, stuff like that. So just be ready for that and uh, let's get back to the review. So, so Battle of the Year is about the American breakdancing b-boy crew, whatever you want to say. And they want to compete in something called Battle of the Year. And it's a big breakdancing competition where a bunch of countries from around the world get together and compete to be number one at breakdancing. And the b-boy crew from uh, America really wants to get that number one spot again. They've been doing really bad the last couple of years. And they really want to take back what's what I guess is rightfully theirs. Maybe not rightfully, but... Uh, what do you call it? Breakdancing, sorry. Breakdancing originated in America, and yeah, the U.S. team wants to take that back. And the movie is based off of a true story, true events, whatever you want to say. And I gotta say, it's pretty dumb. It wasn't done very well. It, the whole movie, it's, and most of it, I think, goes into the performances and the script. I mean, the story can be interesting to some people, not me, per se, but, uh, I mean... The, the story moves and it keeps going, but it just, I just didn't really care because I didn't like it really any of the characters and the dialogue was just terribly cheesy. It was just a very poorly written movie and everything, whenever they're trying to make it dramatic, it would just come off as either funny or very cliched. It, it, the story just didn't work out very well and I think a lot of that goes into the writing and the directing as well. Um, the performances, let's just talk about characters. Um, one, the one character I actually liked, and I don't care what anybody says, but Josh Peck's character, even though he hasn't been in really any good movies, I like him from Jake, Drake and Josh, and I like seeing him in a movie. Um, I don't know, I, I just like seeing him on screen, because I always was fond of him on Drake and Josh. But, uh, he's one of the characters that I do like, but another character that I really do not like is a guy named Rooster. He's one of the breakdancers in the movie. And he is played by uh, Chris Brown, the one and only Chris Brown. And his character is probably one of the most annoying characters I've seen in a movie this year. And then the main guy, the coach, uh, I, a lot of it goes into the dialogue, but everything he said was just really funny and cheesy. I, I don't know. It, the, it just was not a well-written movie. And the directing, uh, it's, it's all right. I mean, the, the breakdancing scenes are done well and they're choreographed well and they can be kind of cool sometimes. But it's just pretty standard. The movie just is not a very good movie. It doesn't work very well. It didn't really have an audience, I guess. There just weren't many people that would want to go see this movie, I don't think. And that's why it did so poorly at the box office. So that's my review. That's really all I can say. It's just a dumb, guilty pleasure kind of movie if you are into breakdancing. I thought it was okay. There were some characters that I liked here and there. And some of the breakdancing was cool. But the story was just so bad, it was so poorly written and directed, it just, it's not very good. So I'm going to give it one and a half out of five stars. Please check out my other videos that I'm going to be uploading this weekend. Uh, and, you know, as always guys, please subscribe and I will talk to you later.